Hi, this is Barty Doherty from the Doherty Garden, and today, ooh, the branch just blown over there. Didn't notice that. Maybe the strong winds we had. Well, anyway, let's get back to my ginger plant. This has a white bloom. Uh, these are recent additions to the Doherty Garden. Complements the root from her tropical garden, east up here, and we're west of her. So, everybody's looking here. Uh, so far, I got four colors from Ruth and I believe the one that bloomed was an orange color. I'm not sure why all the time is kicking in over here. But <clears throat> anyway, what we're doing here is just taking a picture. And the reason I have pulled this out is because it's time to uh it's getting a little more dry out. We have rain for two days now which this is the first west bell we had in months. So what I'm doing is uh gonna sit, go through this, split it out Take a look at the plot. You can see we have a lot of little browns in there, so what I'd like to do is just take my little dainty little scissor, uh, pull this out of the pot, split it into like two sections, clean all the brown off, uh, thin out the herd, so to speak, and then put it back into a proper place in the Doherty Garden, so this way I can monitor uh, the plant as is, as my, uh, where are we going here? As my ginger plant is in the ground. Uh, once it's in the ground, it's a little better when the weather is not as uh, good, sprinkler system is not as consistent. So what we do then is they take the uh, plants and put them in the ground. Some plants fare fairly well in a dry, dry spell, but overall uh, we've been getting like torrential rain for the last two or three days, so this side of the thing gets drenched. So what I want to do is just take uh, these, uh, not that I'm going to rely on the rain, but I want to rely on putting them in the ground, because at least if I know it's in the ground, it's going to get full attention from the sprinkler system. And usually what I do is every once in a while I go in the back with my little hose and spray it around and sort of give it a nice little sprinkle this way that the roots don't dry out too much. So like I say, uh, it'll be mostly in a sunny area. I'm going to take out a few plants. I, uh, the reason I'm looking at a place to put them in is the place where I had a reek of uh, palm trees. I had about uh, eight or ten uh, little pots of reek of palm trees, or probably about uh, four pots I had yesterday, so literally about 200 trees, little seedlings I ended up throwing out because they seemed to be drying out, so rather than, you know, I have no place to put them, and I use the pots and I just clean out those, my little black pots and put them back over there, and then I sit over here and say, okay, I will take one, put it into a black pot, but it'll take two others and split them down the middle and take them and just plant them. Let me see if I can see it from here. And I hope the electricity from this pops the Okay, let me get back there. As you can see, right with the Blessed Virgin, directly behind the Virgin is the uh, pink Hawaiian tea plants. I have two large stones back there. And with those greens just above her head is where the plants are gonna go in that little area. So Mother Nature will take care of them then. And here's my other, uh, orange version and I have another plant over there and there's my little uh, red vein and sleeping hibiscus I have it out in the more of a full sun so this way it's in. and my other uh, one right there dead center in the middle is another uh, let me see which one that is uh, it could be another white or they had white yellow orange and pink so let me say there is my little uh, mother and daughter starting to get a little growth in there and Song of India going in. Here's the rest of my, this is a darker version of the Song of India and there's some seedlings from the Song of India. We'll see what happens with that. And there is more. Let's see what this one is. Whoops, turn around Marty. All right, the birds got to that one. So we'll have to wait for the bloom to come out of that, but that's one of the other uh, 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 ginger plants. Sorry about that. The old brain kicks out, and here's my Madagascar tree. Everything is blooming like crazy. I gotta find out what to do with them. I hope we don't have to throw them out. And there's my grandson's little plant. And I have one from what's Henry's, and I have another one from my granddaughter Kylie around here somewhere. And they're all growing like crazy. So that's it. There's Kylie's plant down there. And there's all my coral cables. But back to my where are we starting? 
All right, back to the ginger. Ginger plants is going to be, uh, like I said, double potted out. Uh, one cutting will go into a pot, so this way I can monitor over here on the side. I'm just curious of the colors because I only saw one color come out of the four colors that were given to me. And I just, uh, any type of color comes to the garden, it drives me crazy. I love taking pictures of it. Which one is this? I got original papers. I got a nice little camera to get a clear picture. But for now, we'll have to take pictures with the tap. Okay, that's your in bodies of the world. So I say, please like the video. I love the attention. And please subscribe to the channel. Surprise the hell out of me by subscribing. Take care. Bye bye.